Hi everyone, welcome to Honey Bunny Online. Festive season is just around the corner and we all love our sweets, but we also want to eat something that is healthy and quick to prepare. So we are here with another quick, healthy, sweet treat which can be prepared in only 7 minutes. We are preparing Kalakan, which is a traditional Indian sweet, but we will prepare it with a twist and the twist is we will not be using any refined sugar. This is a melt in the mouth fudge and the taste is so heavenly. And the best part is it is so quick and easy to make that even your kids can do it. So let's get started. I am using 3 cups of milk powder. This is the instant milk powder and it is not super fine because if I use the super fine milk powder, I do not get the grainy texture in the kalakan. So next I am using 1 cup thickened cream. This is the thickened cream that is used for cooking. This is the coconut sugar 1 cup and pistachio for garnishing. Coconut sugar is a very healthy substitute to our regular refined sugar because it is rich in lots of electrolytes such as sodium, potassium and also it has only 75% of sucrose and it is rich in fiber. So what I'm going to do now is mix the milk powder and the coconut sugar really well and make sure that there are no lumps forming. Now I'm going to add the thickened cream and mix it really well using the cut and fold method. I will just mix it so that everything combines well and making sure that there are no lumps formed. This is a very easy method to make kalakand at home because we are only mixing the three ingredients and then just putting them in microwave for various time durations. So once the mixture is thoroughly mixed, I will put it in the microwave for 3 minutes. So the first round is going to be for 3 minutes on high speed. I would like to mention here that every microwave is different. So I would really recommend that you use it the first time for two minutes first so that you can understand how your microwave is going and how is the mixture cooking because the basic key of making this kalakan is maintaining the temperature and mixing it well in between now like this is my mixture after three minutes so i'm going to give it a nice mix again and then I will put it back again for another one minute. So my aim is to find out a consistency which is grainy and also creamy and it will stick together so that I am sure that when I put it to set, it will hold the shape and it will set like in a nice way. It looks like this so now I am going to keep it in the microwave for another one minute and I am putting it in the microwave with a lid on always so I will cover it and then I will put it in the microwave so um, the time durations that I have used is three minutes the first time then I give it a nice mix then I put it again for another one minute and then I give it a real thorough mix and then I will keep it again for 30 seconds and if I find it that it is the required texture that I'm looking for I will just take it out and put it to set if not I will keep it again for 30 seconds so I really like to mention here that sometimes we are tempted like okay I've kept it for one minute and it is still not there i've kept it for another 30 seconds but the consistency is still not there okay then let me just put it for another one minute and sometimes that one minute will burn it quickly so when you are closer to the time just keep it for 30 30 seconds because it burns really fast it turns really brown and gets into hard chunks and then it spoils everything so i would say three minutes 
then a nice mix one minute another nice mix 30 seconds another nice mix next 30 seconds and most likely you will be done at that time now this looks done it is not very sticky and this is the right right uh, texture that i was looking for now i'm going to spread it on a baking sheet you can spread it in a baking tray or a simple plate with a little greasing but i find spreading it on a baking sheet is way too easier so i have uh, make the marks on the baking sheet so that i know the area that i'm going to spread it on and then i will spread it gently pat it on the top i will not uh, use a rolling pin to press it too hard because then it becomes more like a plain fudge rather than a grainy kalakan as you can see that uh, this kalakan is very grainy and it is falling apart but because i am putting it to set while it is still very hot it will maintain its position and will give us a nice fudge uh, also in the second part of the video i am going to show you how uh, different the texture would be if you use sugar so i am again not going to use highly polished refined white sugar i am using a substitute which is the raw sugar raw sugar is just uh, the sugar which is not way too much polished so i still find it a bit healthier than the normal white sugar so let's make it with raw sugar now so the proportion would still be the same three cups of milk powder, 1 cup raw sugar and 1 cup thickened cream. So the process is all going to be exactly the same but I just want to show you how different it looks when we use raw sugar other than the coconut sugar and it will also be the same if you are going to use the normal white sugar that we generally have in the work kitchens. So after giving it a nice mix, I am going to keep it in microwave for 3 minutes. I again want to remind you that you can first try it with 2 minutes because if you are going to do it for the first time, you will get to know how it turns out after 2 minutes. So this is how it looked after the first round of 3 minutes. If you can see when we are using the sugar, it has turned quite milky. And creamy now I will keep it again for another one minute in the microwave and this is how it looks after one minute of cooking in the microwave so it would start turning a bit grainy so after this you have to repeat the process every 30 seconds and give it a nice mix before you go on for the night for the next so as round. we go on repeating our steps in the microwave for 30 seconds it turns more grainier and it the texture becomes closer to what we are looking for in our kalakan so if we look closer this is the grainy consistency the texture is good but it is still very sticky so i will keep it again for 30 more seconds and after 30 seconds it has turned a bit more dry and the perfect texture that we are looking for once the kalakan is set you can cut it into your desired shape once we had once it has cooled down share this recipe with your family and friends to make their festive season even more sweeter if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and share your experiences with us in the comment section below. See you in next video. Bye!